It's a popular children's story in the Arab world. The tale of the chicken that warns her chicks about the big bad wolf. Now researchers have translated it into sign language. Heading the team working to improve communication for deaf people is computer linguist Abdelhadi Saudi. Sign language research in Morocco is still in its infancy. Saudi is doing trailblazing work in this field. He wants to help make life easier for people who can't hear. The deaf community in Morocco faces many challenges. Um, there are only few uh, resources for Moroccan language, uh, sign language, and um, the education stops at the primary level, and the result is the high uh, rate of illiteracy in Morocco. The Moroccan capital, Rabat. According to official government figures, the North African country is home to some 60,000 deaf people. But others estimate that there are at least 10 times as many. At Rabat's Center for Languages and Communication, Saudi has formed a cross-disciplinary team made up of people who can hear and those who can't. The group includes artists, computer specialists, and a well-known sign language interpreter. They've been working together under Saudi's supervision for a year now. I do have actually um, members of the family who are deaf, and then I just thought that maybe I should also work on something, you know, to help the deaf community in Morocco and um, in the rest of the world. They plan to improve translations into sign language, for example, and ensure better educational provisions for the deaf. The work starts at the drawing board, but soon moves into the digital realm. The researchers say that in the future, virtual characters could act as interpreters for people who can't hear. Saudi's work is not limited to Morocco. He's a fellow at the Alexander von Humboldt Foundation and has worked together with German researchers on a series of projects over the last 10 years. Well, my first research stay was at the uh, DFKI, the German Research Center for Artificial Intelligence, where I worked with um, uh, the Language Technologies Lab uh, researchers. And uh, we have published um, together a couple of publications, and um, this definitely has a very important um, impact, uh, not only on my research in my home country, but also in the host country, in Germany. It's important to the researcher that both sides benefit from the cooperation. The situation for people who can't hear, he says, also needs to be improved in Europe. Saudi's international experience has also brought another problem to his attention, the state of research and scholarship in Arab countries. I really think that a lot of research projects here only involve people who are working in an ivory tower in academia. And there are other problems as well. I also think that bureaucracy and insufficient funding are very big hurdles for researchers in the Arab world. Abdelhadi Saudi and his team want to lead by example and show how society can really profit from research. <laughs>